It's in session, September 2022. Tarot reading is in session. We're going to start with the faith card. You have to have faith to move forward. You have to have faith to believe that the events will work for you and not against you. The faith that we carry inside is very important. If you do not carry any faith for yourself or for your future, you're going to be in trouble. The goal today is to make sure that everyone understands the purity of their souls and to understand that we have a lot to give within. We lose that faith. We're looking around and we're seeing that things are happening to us and we tend to lose the faith that we hold dear inside. And it waver, but we don't have to do that. But we choose. They're saying have strength. Have strength that this faith will be rewarded. Nine of Pentacles. Have faith that this September for this reading, that if you hold dear to your beliefs, you're going to get what you deserve and the tides are going to turn in your favor. But how do you expect for that to happen when everything that vibrates your frequency and everything you think changes and you don't hold strong to what you believe that's coming in for you to change the tide. So here you are standing in your beliefs. You're having faith. You're strong. You have no choice but to move forward. You're, it's like you're forcing the universe to hear you out. You are hearing the universe cry out to you and say to you, I heard you. You had the faith. You have the strength. You are going to stand. You are going to shine. Today, I am telling you, I feel it strong. I am an empath. You're going to turn the tides. But if you do not have that faith and that strength, how can this turn? How can this wheel of fortune turn in your favor? And here's the confirmation. The sun card. Oh my gosh, wish fulfillment, total contentment. You see it. These cards are here. There you go. You may find love for yourself and others. Where you're thinking, you know what? These humans, these people, these beings on this planet, I can't take it anymore. Or the situations I've been through, the reason why I had to hold on to this faith so tight, the reason why I had to be so strong, the reason why I strive so hard to get to these pinnacles, to move this wheel forward, to see my happiness is because of the fact I had a wish. I had something I was going for. I wanted to get to this point and it was hard and you strived and you lost it and you felt that no one else would understand why did you fight? Why did you have to have faith? It's not for anybody else to understand because you had to love yourself. This was something personal for you. This month is a trial and tribulation for you. Why? Because here it go, right here. You're sitting there looking back. Look at all this. Look at all this. This is a fight. Each one of these was your fight. You stood your ground you told them, not today, I'm going forward. I do not care what you put in front of me. I'm looking back now after all of those trials, the faith, the strength, this came. I forced this will. I turned my situation around. I gained my wish. I love myself. Whoever hurt me, each one of these can be a person a place, a thing, 
an event that popped out that you didn't think about it, a bill that wasn't paid, a situation where a person backstabbed you, your parents wasn't right, your brother and sister are crazy, whoever you're thinking right now, that's what each one of these represent. And this is you sitting here. This is you. Ring a bell for you. Good job. I'm so proud of you. All that evil you conquered, all the right People just say evil. No, sometimes there are circumstances where you just had to make a decision that was simple and it was a hard decision. But to anybody else, it was simple. That's why you can't judge a book by its cover and you can't judge other people because if you were in that situation, it would be different. Not everybody's trials and tribulations are the same, but you grew to love yourself from it. And it was especially for you. You can never, ever think different. You can never, ever say different from this right here. This is you loving you. This is you having the test that won that it, it took a lot to get to this. The King of Cups, whether you're male, female, whoever you are, it takes a lot to get to that. It, it doesn't just spring up. It took you all of these trials and tribulations to get to this point. And now you're looking back. You're that king, queen sitting there going, oh my gosh, look at what I came through. So September for you guys, look at what happened. You got through it. I'm very proud of you guys. Anytime you think you can't do it, look back, go back. Don't let any problem keep you from moving forward. Not one. If you have any other situations that pop up during this time, like I said, throughout September, they're there to test you. They're just there to make sure that when you made up your mind, you made up your mind for good. You're not going, I'm just doing this because this is the right thing to do. Is it for you? Do you have faith in yourself? Do you have faith in the situation? How strong are you? How strong are you in your beliefs? Within you, you, you do not have to worry about anybody else. This is not about anybody else. September is not about you and you only. It's about your energy, your frequency. It's about how do you affect others from loving yourself now? Now that you love yourself, what can you give to others? How can you benefit their life? How can you be that lesson? And it could be good or bad. But sometimes people can say we can be other people's karma or we can be their light. But is that what you came through? You grew. Everyone grew. I am so proud to see this because this is a collective reading. And you did good. And I know I'm proud to see this. This this is amazing. This is someone or many people that fought so hard through so many trials. Listen to the crazy. Listen to probably the news. Listen to everyone else. And then said, you know what? I'm going within. I trust myself. I know I can do better than this. And I know I am. I don't have to listen to that person down the street or my neighbors or whoever that influenced me, my partner, my husband, my wife. I'm listening to me. And for once, I'm going to love me enough to do right. And when you do that, everything you wish, your happiness, everything you need comes instantly. You do not pay attention to what others say. You paid attention to what you said inside. Well, I'm going to end this reading because I can't see anything better than this. I mean, a clarifying, it's just unnecessary. And thank you guys for joining me on this live. 